roadmap to become supply chain analyst. Let us try to discuss how you can become a successful supply chain analyst or you are a person who are looking to get your role changed into or as a supply chain analyst. I'll try to discuss some skills which you need as an analyst or as a professional in supply chain to become a good supply chain analyst in this lesson. And we may also talk about the certifications you need to do to become a good supply chain analyst. So let us start. So we'll start with basic roadmap to become supply chain analyst. So what is the thing? What are the things you need to learn first? So let us start with supply chain first. Later you become an analyst. Let us try to understand supply chain. What all things you should know being a supply chain analyst of supply chain. The first thing is that first and foremost you need to have a good understanding of supply chain and do it. And this is very easy these days. You can uh, learn this from different books or um, go through different YouTube channels and you, you will get a basic overall understanding of supply chain. Even, even this YouTube channel of supply chain sensei which I have and this also you will find different functions or different parts of supply chain covered. That's first. Second, you should know the ERP tools used in supply chain. So this is also expected at many places. Being a supply chain analyst, you are also an expert in ERP tools like SAP, there is rapid response, NX is rapid response, this O9, OMP. As you go left to right, the, the technology becomes more latest. So SAP is kind of old or traditional ERP tool, but rapid response is quite uh, updated or latest one. O9, OMP, these are very new into the market. So you should have an expertise in ERP tool. So what kind of expertise you need to understand? What kind of different modules are there which in the ERP tools? How basically data flows from one module to another module? How you can download the data? Yeah. Have understanding how the ERP tool exactly integrates with the full supply chain. How supply ERP is integrated and different processes are integrated in this ERP tool. How much uh, planning happens in the ERP tool, how much planning happens offline to the ERP tool, how different functions from forecasting to sales and operation planning, demand planning, supply planning, um, purchase, how all these functions they uh, integrate with ERP or how much they are taking benefit of ERP tool, which may be SAP, can access 09 OMP. So this is the second important thing which you should have. Of course, this is quite optional. There are um, cert certain in certain organization, they would have a separate ERP consultant and you don't have to work much with ERP. But yeah, in certain organization, they do expect you to have as a supply chain analyst and expertise in ERP too. And in certain organization, there would be a separate team uh, which are ERP consultant. Then along with that, um, being a supply chain analyst, you, yes, you should also have an understanding how you can drive a project. If you have got a project, how you handle a project, starting from you know, defining the scope, scope, then KPIs or timeline, so end to end, how you will handle a project. So this bit of project understanding should also be there with you. Now let us talk a bit about analytical part. So this is what is expected in terms of supply chain, um, understanding the and having the understanding of operational understanding of supply chain of your organization. Then having end to end understanding of ERP tools which is used in your organization then also having the knowledge of how to drive an end to end project. How to identify the right projects, identify the gaps in supply chain. Okay, this is where we need to do a project. And 
do some analysis and uh, do some improvement reduce gaps inefficiencies in, in the supply chain so this is um, what is expected on the supply chain side now let us talk about the analytical side first and foremost is your expertise as a excel user this is very important you should, you should be able to do basic things like creating dashboards in excel uh, some reports in excel uh, automating basic jobs using VBA. So Excel is must. Uh, no matter how much we get into advanced tools like Tableau, Power BI, Excel is always going to be there. So this is the very first thing any supply chain analysis must. Second, which I would recommend is developing an expertise in one of the languages, Python or R language. Out of this. Either you develop expertise in Python or out of this, both you have to choose. I have made a separate video on how Python is more industry recognized, accepted, and popular, and why you should be learning Python. So, yeah, my take is always going to be Python if you have to choose between Python and R. So, you, you, should, you should learn what you learn in Python, you should learn you know, data analysis data wrangling, uh, different analytics, predictive, descriptive, and descriptive in Python. And along with this, you should, if you can also learn tools like Tableau, Power BI. So these are optional ad or additional. If you, along with this, if this is done, uh, that is uh, that would be very great. You know, Tableau, Power BI, and uh, Looper, or uh, SQL. So these are some additional tools uh, for more data visualization. Or if you can have expertise in this, that would be really great. So this is uh, these are the two skills we discussed. What type of skills are required? as a supply chain guy and being an analytical person both. Now let me also talk about certifications. Are there any certifications available? So very first is by MITx. And which is supply chain analytics course. This is a very good course and one of the best in the market. But yeah, the cost for this is quite high. Cost is uh, quite high for this. This would go around two fifty dollars, I think. Uh, this is what I remember. You can check at your end what is the current price. This should be roughly around two fifty dollars. If you are looking so this, if you are looking for a beginner level course, there there is this course from IIT Roorkee. Again, for supply chain analytics. So this won't cost much it's just 12 dollars but yeah nothing much is covered in this uh, it's just a beginner level course just for beginners this course and after this um, you can see if you are comfortable with this because the cost is high for this cost is the challenge here and for iit rookie course uh, the cost is low but this is a beginner level course but if you are looking for an advanced level course and cost is also uh, concern for you then there is a course made by me which is supply chain analytics decoded mm -hmm. oh, which i'll be releasing soon or it's already online on udemy there are just a few changes remaining to it so supply chain analytics in this i have covered Excel to certain extent, Python, and uh, very important is the key feature I have introduced in the chat GPT. So I'll be pasting the link for uh, my course in the description box. You can have a look at it. It will pretty much cover about some basics of supply chain 
uh, yeah, it won't cover about this. This, this you won't get about ERP. You won't get in any supply chain articles. Even about project, you won't get in any of these things. But yes, you will find this Python basics of Python have covered. Um, and yeah, this is also not there, and this you won't find anywhere else. So you will get Excel, Python, and supply chain. So yeah, uh, good uh, wide variety of topic I have covered. So uh, link is in the description box. And yeah, this is it for this lesson. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe for more such content.